Okay, this is what our refrigerator looks like for our January no spend challenge. So just our regular stuff that you see us buying in every video. The butter and the milk and the juice and the cheese sticks and the eggs, yogurts. Got some hard boiled eggs down there with a tomato. I like Greek yogurt so I always buy that. I do and have always kept my potatoes in a crisper. I've got some carrots in there and some, um, I think they're just mandarins. So uh, for our January no spend challenge, we're just going to stock up on the milk, juice, and some produce. And that is what we plan on and all we plan on buying at the grocery store. Here we just have our usual. I did buy some of that cookie dough. It is good as far as the type of sugar cookies I like, which are crispy. So I bought one last, you know, there was only two tubes left. I guess everybody bought it out during Christmas, so that's fine. Uh, some Ready Whip, I've got some organic coffee from Thrive, our jam, honey, you know, bottles of water, my A&W, and lots of chocolate chips because I didn't do a lot of baking during Christmas as far as chocolate chip, uh, the use of chocolate chips goes. And then my husband's water bottle, so that's what our refrigerator looks like. This is our freezer. As always, you'll see a couple of boxes always of like a TV dinner. These are like uh, Roma, I think, or Red Baron little pizzas that my husband will eat on the weekend. For his lunch, we've got a uh, seven and a half at Walmart, pretty expensive for what we're used to. Lots of matzah pizza, and then we've got things that, of course, will start falling out because they're not done right. But I've got some pizza from the restaurant, some Pizza Hut there that we're going to eat this week and get used up. We've got some shredded cheese um, that we're waiting on using up. A donut. Salmon that needs to come out for a salad. The main problem is that we have things that are uneven in here that I have to fix. We've got some hamburger buns, a loaf of bread, uh, some bread that I saved back for French toast. Never did get to Martha scalloped potatoes for Christmas. Got some fresh uh, hot dog buns, but we weren't ready to eat hot dogs yet. And then just some things from summer produce, like I've got some uh, partially cooked up. Um, charred, partially cooked up zucchini, and then I take those out and I finish the cooking process of them and I add them to potatoes, potatoes and eggs and stuff like that. That's basically it. Um, there are some pie crusts. I bought some uh, maybe, I don't know, a couple of months ago at Sam's. I still have five of those left. And over here you got slider buns, you got some croissants, and then I made some biscuits and so we have some leftover biscuits. So that's what our freezer looks like. Okay, this is our refrigerator on January 15th, so the 15th of the month, and I think that the first part of the video should show at the very beginning of the month. So as you can see, we have a backup of the milk, and we have our just our milk, so everything we bought at the beginning of the month, at the end of last month actually, was supposed to last us until the middle of this month. Well, it's last a little tiny bit longer. Uh, we have one and a half milk left, one and a half creamer left, and as always we have the cheese sticks, cheese slices. Um, at the end of the month, we bought uh, some extra um, cheese sticks. Uh, those are always, I mean, we can never find the Walmart ones that my husband likes, which are Colby Jack, I think. Mine uh, that are Frigo, those are very easy to find. I still have all the butter that I got at the end of last month, or maybe even the middle of last month, from Sam's for baking. I didn't do any more baking, so I'm going to have to look into getting some of that stuff in the freezer. Um, but I do have cookies to bake this weekend. We still got a dozen eggs, and some yogurt is left, and some spinach, and some of my husband's uh, oranges that he bought a couple weeks ago are left, and we're down to like the last six potatoes. And the stuff that's in the door is stuff that's always in our door. Nothing new has been added, just some pops uh, put in to get cold. And I still have three bags of chocolate chips down there, four cookies. So that is a refrigerator. In our freezer, there's, we're starting to get a little more room. Those breads will be coming out soon, so we'll have that whole section. We still have the pizzas that my husband makes on the weekend. Um, I used some pumpkin that we had from Thanksgiving, and I made some pumpkin pie, and I froze it. We still have some hamburger and hot dog buns that we bought. We still have some salmon that we've had for a little while here now. And we're getting down to the last part of that of a large bag of broccoli that I bought a while back, and I think I put it up in a grocery haul. And nothing new here in the door. Same old, same old. Here is the freezer. 
So, got some of that cookie dough. Uh, I think it was, uh, I think it's this gathered nest or the gathered nest. Um, Angie, is it Angie Bran Braniff? Um, talked about liking this cookie dough um, by Pillsbury in the rolls. And I did get a couple of the rolls, and I really like that cookie dough. I don't like anything else that's in those rolls by Pillsbury. But I have to say that I do like the sugar cookie dough. So I bought a backup package. I couldn't find another roll. So I wonder if this, these packages um, are just the same. So I'm going to try that someday. We're just down to a half a bag of fries, one sweet roll, just a few of my popsicles. And I do eat a popsicle or two every day. And I have, if you've watched my videos, and I've said this a thousand times, I have since about March 20th, April 20th, uh, had these grape popsicles. These are um, outshine, I believe. And so they have concentrated grape juice in them. And I don't know what the deal is, except that I'm anemic. And grape juice is often good when you're anemic and when your body is just craving something to help with your anemia. So that's the only thing I can think of. Uh, a little bit of pepperoni left for homemade pizzas. This is my husband's ice packs for work and a couple of those uh, pizzas. And then in here we only have um, probably four pounds of ground beef. A uh, package of hot dogs, a package of sausages, and a couple packages of bacon. So we're really getting low on meat, and in this area, things are really starting to become a shortage. Uh, we went to Walmart, uh, I think it was a couple of weeks ago, and the shelves are starting to get bare again. And then I have friends in La Crosse where we usually do our shopping that said, eggs were gone and bread was gone here just a couple of days ago. Meat was starting to become short. Uh, cat food, I know we've had to order that now online. That is not found in the store anymore. Um, lots of freezer type stuff, um, meats, cheeses, uh, lunch meat, um, frozen meats, turkey, salmon, um, hot dogs, sausages. I mean, she said virtually the large employee-owned grocery store that I go to a lot had a lot of bare shelves, and this was about 1 o'clock in a Friday afternoon. So possibly we can expect some of that at 1 o'clock in a Friday afternoon. But it is starting to get to be where I say we don't have that much meat, so we may have to go out today. It is now 7.03 on Saturday morning, and I believe we're going to go and try to shop very early and get a couple of packages of hamburger and get some other things that have either been out of stock during the, the during the pandemic that we've had to order at a higher price than I would like to and just get some staples. So as far as no spend uh, January, well, we haven't spent on anything else in January, actually since a couple last couple of weeks of December, except for on groceries. And we're really not buying anything ahead buying anything extra or hoarding anything we're just getting the basic requirements that we that we need for a month and now we're finding out just from friends yesterday and the day before that a lot of those things are not in the store right now and I'm not being able to I'm not able to order them online either and have pickups so I've got to take a look inside the store and see just what's going on so that'll be included in this video and then this video will uh, hopefully you're seeing this video on Sunday night